Okay, let's go over my Cherry compatible stabilizer design for a moment. Uh, as you can see, it tends, you know, it seems to work pretty well. It keeps both sides going down evenly. Um, and depending on how well you bent the wire, see how one side goes down a little straighter than the other? That's because this wire isn't perfectly bent. I messed with it a little too much. When I bent it the first time, it was probably straighter. <laughs> uh, but it works reasonably well. So let's have a look at how to assemble it and how to take it apart. So I'm going to take it apart, and you can see how right after taking the stem out, I can just sort of slide it out. And that way, when you're putting it back to, back on, you can do the same thing. You just sort of get them lined, get your little bits lined up in there, and then you can put it, push it down. And there's a flat bottom. See that? Um, so see, there's a like a flat side to the little stem collect connection thing. Put that in, and you'll figure out. I mean, there's only two ways that you can put it in. One of them is the wrong way. So we'll just feed those in there so and then as we're feeding it in we just push the uh, stem down but I think I put it in wrong there you can see it won't go in and the way to check that is if you look at the stabilizer portion there's a flat part and then the top part is, is circular I mean maybe this way I can indicate better in the model so this is the flat part down here let me center myself here so that's the flat part and on the stabilizer the flat part is going to be on this side here. Ugh. I push the wire down. And make sure you have your tweezers in case your wire is a little stiff like mine is. Because <laughs> it's hard to pull it out with your finger. Okay, so I've got this lined up here. Flat part is correct. I'm just going to slide this in. I'm not looking at the video, I'm looking at the um, at the stabilizer. And now I'm just going to rotate it down and bam now it's in there now let me take it all the way out obviously these are easier to put in just the um the, the way you put them in the orientation is dependent on how you have your switches but let me take this whole thing out just to show you so you're going to have one of the two of these things that are printed out and they print out like this right next to each other So they print out like this, and you can see mine were a little connected from stringies. I had to cut those apart. Just be careful because this little, it's not the strongest bit of plastic. It's very thin. So the way you can orient these correctly is your cherry cut plate cutout is going to have a side that's sticking up above the switch and a side that's sticking out um, that's, that's sort of like inside. So you can see how... See how it goes just below the switch here, right? That's the side that's going to be the bottom of my stabilizer mount, right? And I forget why, but that's how I did it. But there was a reason. I don't remember what it is. So I put it in very gently. Not all the way. I didn't snap it in all the way. And it does snap in. And then I put the other side in very gently. Bottom first. And then slide it in. And now we're going to take the stabilizer. We're just going to put it right here. And now I snap that in. And you can see how, see how it's not perfectly straight there? <laughs> it's because I messed with it. So I'm just going to push this down, and then I snap the other side in. And now I'm going to make sure they're both in there, and that the stabilizer bar moves freely, like it's not um, tight. And now let's make sure that I have the flat part lined up correctly. That's the way it goes. And I slide it in. That's all there is to it. Um, and you're probably wondering how long do you cut those? Doesn't really matter. As long as it stays within the um, switch, uh, the keycap, rather. So I actually had these. I pushed it down a little bit and made a little mark with a Sharpie at the very edge or like a pencil or something. You see that? And then I just took some flush cutters and I cut it off. I basically just took it off and then I snipped it where I marked it. And that's what I recommend, but it really doesn't matter. It can stick out further than that, and it's not going to hurt anything. You can see that it's not... Um, this is hard to do on video. It's much easier when I do it with my hands. There we go. 
if you look closely, you can see that there's plenty of room in there. And the way I designed the stabilizer is if you cut the bar a little too long, it'll just go and hit the plate. No big deal. And it doesn't seem to rattle at all. <laughs> Though in theory, this one's not using, um, not using springs. So there might be a little rattle. I don't know. I will be incorporating springs into this design eventually, but for now, it's just a good 3D printable stabilizer that anybody can print, and it comes with bending jigs. And I'll probably make a better video. This is just my quick and dirty so that some of my beta testers can get started. <laughs> there you go.